nowhere to sit but i'm gonna sit on the floor to do this entry so i can get going hi guys welcome back to the channel i am emily with dumelo if it's your first time here hi and welcome and if you're a new subscriber thank you for choosing to watch yet another video we finally have a vlog the first one in a very 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 long time something interesting is happening i am going to nanjing for the first time i am taking the bullet train for the first time and i am going to be attending the woman empowered luncheon that is being hosted by spatlum kize and i have been invited as one of the panelists so that's going to be very interesting the fact that you know people are coming to the event and some of them are actually quite interested in hearing what i have to say so uh, i'm really excited about that so that's the reason why i've decided to do this vlog we're gonna go through it together and i hope you enjoy it if you do enjoy it please 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 do give the video a thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you are not already subscribed call your friends to call their friends to come and subscribe i would really really appreciate that and yeah share it with anyone else who might find it interesting and let's see how our first um high speed train experience is gonna be and our first time in nanjing so yeah uh, i'm on my way to the train station now uh i am packed already there's my bag. Um, I'm going to take a DD, go to the train station. So I made it to the train station. It's crazy. There's so many people. I'm hungry, so I want to get some snacks. Hopefully that I can take on the train. I see a shop here, but I also want coffee. So I'm gonna try and see if there's like a nice place where I can get something nice. Starbucks is full, so I'm gonna go to Tim's instead. Finally made it to Nanjing. It was a long trip. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the train ride, honestly. But yo, I have so much to do. It's already eleven o'clock. I still need to figure out my outfit for tomorrow. Um, the theme is live in color. I ordered things from ASOS. They were supposed to be delivered on Monday, but. They were not delivered, so now I just have to make do with what I have. So I packed a few things in my bag, but now I need to like try things on and see what goes with what. Because I have no idea what I'm going to wear. The only thing that I know I'm going to wear is the shoes, but everything else I still need to figure that out. But yeah, man. Ooh, this was a long trip. I don't know. I'm thinking of changing my train ticket tomorrow. Oh, because I'm going back to Beijing tomorrow um because i have to go to work on sunday we have admissions activities so i have to go to work on sunday so tomorrow after the event i have to go back to beijing but anyway uh i'm gonna try to fix my outfit issues right now and then try to order some food and then um take a shower and then sleep 
and I'll see you guys in the morning when we get ready for the event, Hama. Um, I was gonna try out the clothes now and decide on an outfit, but I'm really tired, so I'm gonna. I'll do that in the morning when it's time to get ready. I'll just throw everything around and hopefully it works out and we look cute. So, yeah, um, if I'm thinking of letting go of the food and just sleeping. We'll see tomorrow, but I am hungry. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay. Hi, good morning. Um, we are getting ready. I am doing my makeup right now. I actually want to tell you guys about my experience on the train yesterday. Um, like I said, it was my first time on the train, right? And hey, a lot was happening. <laughs> uh, first of all, I think I actually didn't choose the right train. Uh, because the one that I chose like kept on stopping. I think we stopped about like five times before we got to Nanjing. So I didn't like that because I wanted the non-stop one, the one that goes shoo, right? And I felt like the train wasn't like as fast, like it wasn't as high speedy as I, as I wanted it to be. <laughs> but anyway, um, there was a lot going on, especially in the carriage that I was in. There were kids running around. Like, obviously, it's relaxed. You know, it's not like a plane. It's it, people are just chilled and like minding their own business and doing their things. But I was sitting on like the aisle seat, ne? and like there were people like running up and down. At some point, there was this girl. She was just running up and down, like running, like running. Anamata. She was like running and the stuff as well. And people just. Then they be up and down sitting at them and it was just too much. And they can come out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Someone took off their shoes and it was not cute. Like it smelled like feet. Oh my gosh. And I think you know that train. It's nice for if you are on a like and a quick one, like like I said, with the stops, right? If it's like that, then that's fine if you're like on the train for like 45 minutes to an hour. But I was on the train for like four and a half hours. So it was just, oh my gosh, it was just a lot. But shame, it was really nice. I like that it was on time, like the time specified, it like literally very, very punctual. And I was in second class. And there was like a lot of like leg room, so the seats were like comfortable. But yeah, no, uh, I don't know. Uh, I even changed the train that I'm gonna take going back because I was like, oh, maybe this one because the one that stops, mm -mm, it wasn't cute. So I tried to find a non stop train, which I did. So I changed my train and I changed the seat. Because going back, I was assigned like a middle seat in second class. And I was like, oh my gosh, I am not going to make it. So I changed my seat and I booked a first class seat. So at least with that one, it's just like two people on each side. And I think the chairs are individual. So we'll see how that is. So I hope the train going back to Beijing will redeem my experience with the high speed train. And this one is non-stop. So I literally just wanted to go shoo like the like a bullet. <laughs> because that one man, it was fast name Mara. I felt like if you've been on the Khao train, it was like Khao train speed. So it's still pretty fast, but like I don't know what my expectations were. 
but I'm like they said it's a high speed train, bullet train, you know. So I'm expecting oh my shoo <laughs> So um yeah. I hope I can redeem this experience when I go back to Beijing. And I really hate that I have to go back to Beijing today because you know I plan on staying and like going back to Beijing tomorrow on Sunday. So that after the event, I can hang out with some girls, hang out with Zma, you know, catch up and stuff. But I have to work. I, mm -mm. So the reason why is because we have admissions um, for the next school year. So this whole week, we've been conducting interviews. And now tomorrow, we have to do like in-class activities and assist the kids on how they behave in class. And if we really want to admit them into the school and whatever. And because I'm one of the homeroom teachers, um, I they were like, you absolutely like have to, have to, have to be there. So, yeah, shame. That's what's going to happen. But anyway, uh, I'm going to try to finish here. And then I'll show you guys what I managed to come up with. So these are my outfit options that I'm trying to work on. Um, these pants, I've been steaming them so much, but she, they're refusing to... I know they're like a little bit creasy. Like I feel like this is too much. But anyway, it's either way these orange pants or these white pants. And then I have... I love my sports bra, so I'll probably wear a sports bra or this top or this pink one. So I'm thinking... This pink and the white, and then these are the shoes I'm wearing. Oh my gosh, I bought these shoes on Taobao. They are so hard. They are, look at the heel. I love them so much. The name of this brand is called Fabei Fei. <laughs> Fabei Fei. I love them so much. I got them in a size 38. They're so pretty. So the only thing I'm sure about in this outfit is the shoes. So I'm going to try these pants and see the combination with these tops. I also have a white one. And then I have the pink blazer that I'm going to try on as well and see what works. So here is outfit option number one. Hmm. These pants, they're so creased. Like, oh my gosh. Also, I just realized how much weight I've gained. I need to get back to fetching my life. This is not cute anymore. Let me take out the blazer so I can show you what it looks like. But I don't know. It's it's not giving. These pants, no way. So we've established that I'm definitely not wearing the orange pants. So this is my only other option, the white pants. Because after this, there is nothing else <laughs> right okay so this with this top uh i don't know i feel like i mean i don't know i'm gonna try the other ones and see what they look like i like this top <laughs> i actually like it um but my shoes are pink so oh my gosh I like it though. I think this orange and the white goes so well together. But I'm not so sure if it's going to work with this pink. Or maybe it does. Ooh, it, I don't know. I like this. I really think this orange, the white, the pink, and then the shoes because they're not like that intense right i mean surely this has to be it okay the pink jumpsuit is in but the only thing is that this this is not gonna work out yeah no but let me see if i put on the blazer what happens okay blazer's on um it hides the back so that means I need to keep this blazer on throughout the event. 
Um, but I like this. I mean, these different shades of pink. Love them. But I liked that orange. The orange was kind of giving, if you're being honest. The weather here is so pretty. So the venue is like down the road from the hotel. So I am walking there, which between these bags and vlogging on my phone is not that cute, but I will see you when I get to the venue. Go back, go back so we can see you properly. <laughs> Welcome to the lunch on Dolly. Uh -huh. <laughs> my heart. So much to all of you for coming today. Thank you for making the effort. Your outfits are stunning. I see that you guys really understood the assignment, which is color, be bold, be beautiful. It is a beautiful season that we're in now. So thank you so much. So our first panelist is Emily Boydumela, all the way from home. <laughs> all the way from home, which is in Beijing. She's oh, a wow. Yeah. She's a, a YouTube content creator business, which is YouTube whilst here abroad. So please clap your hands for Emily. <laughs> Alright ladies, so the first question I want to put out to you guys is what are the core values that you want to evoke from your customers, for your, from your audiences, when they interact with your products or your content? Um, Emily, would you like to start for us? Sure. <laughs> um, well for me, just to give a little background on the kind of content that I put out, um, I started off, I wanted to do cooking, then I was like, okay, I'm going to do vlogs, but most of my content right now is just me sharing information and my journey being here in China. So with that, what I wanted to do is, one is I want to be impactful to people who are like me, who are from the township and thinking that going abroad or even staying and, live and working abroad is beyond their reach. Mm. So I want to be impactful in that um, way. And I also want to be intentional in a way that people who consume my content at the end of the video, they are informed. So being informed, being impacted, and just being empowered. Love it, <laughs> love it. Um, what YouTube has done for me personally is I've gotten a chance to discover and rediscover myself. Um, I was a person, even when I started the channel, I'm like, Bruh, no one cares about what you have to say, you know? And it has taught me to get out of my own way because I decided, okay, maybe let's just give it a chance. And I said, and I started recording videos, and people started watching, and people found that um, helpful. So for me, it's like if one person finds it helpful, that's okay. And for me personally, my mission is to fetch my life. Yeah. <laughs> trying to do this in every aspect of my life. Initially when it started is I was like okay I'm just trying to lose weight because things were not looking good and I wasn't feeling like good in my own skin and then I'm like okay let me do that. But doing that and going through the journey of pitching my life which at the time was just trying to lose weight and trying to be a bit healthier. I started wanting to focus on other areas of my life. My relationship with myself, my relationship with my friends, my relationship with my finances, my relationship with work, my relationship with self-development, mental health. I was like, mental health was not a thing for me. I'm just like, I am from Soweto, I'm as scared as they go, and when it's time to go, we go. But then I realized that there were things that I was not dealing with. Yep. So channeling that energy is like, okay, now we are about to pitch. It yeah. helped me to 
bring myself towards myself and discover and rediscover myself and reinvent myself. Love it. Because I think no one video is the same mm -hmm. and I can watch my video and be like, okay, the what first one, this was happened, I don't, want, I don't like doing this and then it gives me a chance to keep on improving myself. And I'm not just doing that for myself, but the, my audience who are also watching me evolve in this journey, then I try to think beyond myself, right? It's not just about you. Think about what you wanted at an early age, where mm. I felt like I didn't have enough information because what I'm trying to do now is try to bridge the information gap yes. between what's happening in a world that we think is beyond our reach. Yes. Especially for a township girl, for my little nieces at home mm. who need someone to look up to. I'm trying to be that for them because mm. I felt like that's what I needed. So I'm trying to think beyond myself so that I can at least, you know, just be that change to just one person. You know, the, the thing that says, um, be the change that you want, you want to see, to in, see the in the world. world. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to be that. It doesn't even have to be for the millions of people, but at least if I can be that change for my little nieces, for my nephews, for them to look forward and be like, okay, she did this and I want to go beyond what she's done. And we have representation. Yes. Yeah. And with that, I also felt also like, I'm a person, I like celebrating people. I like celebrating my friends. I'm always like, you're doing so well, let's go, you know? But when that energy is returned to me, it's very hard for me to accept. Mm -hmm. That's why when I meet people, I'm like, oh, I, mean, I want your channel. It's like I could like crawl. <laughs> like, you know, and like, it, it scares me because I'm like, Watch your videos, like, are you serious? Do you hear what I mean? But then I try to also say to myself, you, are not, you cannot be the only person who wants to be that light and mm. celebrate people. Mm. There are people who are like that and they want to celebrate you. you. Yeah. So I'm learning to accept that. So, Proud of you. imposter syndrome, it's, it's a challenge. It's that, a journey. Uh, I face every mm. day, <laughs> you know? <laughs> And some of, sometimes you win the battle, and then sometimes you don't. And, but it's important, I guess, to focus on when you do win the battle, what went well, and, and how we can further do that more. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. What are you thinking? That was. I did not mean to cry, but I'm so glad I was invited to this um, panel, but. It was, it was so real, but I had so much fun. Thank you so much to the ladies who engaged. Thank you so much to the ladies who, you know, were receptive to my story and what I had to say. Thank you so much to Spa for inviting me to be part of this panel. I am fulfilled. I feel so good. And I'm, I definitely feel like this was the stepping stone that I needed. This was a kind of push, you know, me being able to speak about my struggles. Um, so publicly, I feel like it will be, it was gonna make me better and I am going to give you the content that you've signed up for and I'm gonna just, you know, get out of my own way and just try to respect you as my subscriber, so. Now I'm not shaking Is that I was feeling you? I'm feeling you guys. Hello, welcome me to Emily's home. Finally, I meet her and hopefully, oh, hi Bob. Sorry guys, I thought I was in my house, I was about to say something. Anyway, um... I mean, you can tell us. No, I wanted to say, people, uh, my sh the Shangalangs have been saying they wanted to see a different face in our home. Mm. Oh. So... I mean, well, we yeah. have a okay, different well, face. We haven't had a different face in this channel. It's <laughs> always been my face or Hossi's face. So now we have. Tabby. You've had small. I've had, but that was like a long time ago. Me, I never, ever, yeah. ever, ever in my life, okay. ever. So, guys, <laughs> I, 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 okay, um, I'm gonna come back so, to this house. Tabby's gonna photo <laughs> me, and then I'm gonna make a little cameo there by the Shengen links. So, if you're not subscribed to, to Tabby's channel, Tabby Shengen, go check her out. She has. Bye. I'm coming. You guys are gonna see her there. Follow your leader there. <laughs>
I'm all changed. Bought some stuff. Yes, um, that's I'm gonna have a couple of drinks and then it's time to go back to Beijing. Today was such a awesome day. It was so fulfilling. All the ladies were great, amazing, met some cool people, bought some good products. I'm so excited about the, the product. I had so much fun. Um, I think, you know, one thing I've learned now is, you know, just letting go a little bit, loosening up can do more good than the damage that I think it's doing. So I'm going to try to do this a little bit more. Even make up if I did. But shout out to Spa for inviting us today. I, for one, am very fulfilled and quite happy. I'm going to go get my train. We're going to see how first class treats us. And I'll see you guys when I go back to the train. <laughs> I came to the station so early only to find out that the train has been delayed by an hour and 45 minutes.